I'm here with Wendy Chapman AM, who was not only the first female Lord Mayor of Adelaide, but the fe first female Lord Mayor in Australia. Very significant. And I'm really keen to know why you ran in the first place. Well, I was an accidentally, um, I, I had an accidental nomination for council, and that was in 77, and by 83, I had worked exceptionally hard in council. I had attended every committee meeting, every council meeting, unless there was some other reason. And I had studied the city vigorously from one end to the other and the ins and outs of the town hall. And I was at home one evening, domestic duties, and I had a phone call from the media and they said, um, oh, Alderman, did you know that um, Mr. John Chappell is going to stand for the Lord Mayoralty? I said, no, I didn't actually. He said, well, we're interested to know if you would like to run. I said, look, I'm running a bath for a baby at the moment. Do you mind calling me back in 10 minutes? Which he did. And I said, you asked me if I was going to run for Lord Mayor. The answer is yes. In the meantime, um, I do not believe that you stay in this place for 20 years yeah. just to get your name in lights and to go up as a Lord Mayor or as a something special. To be elected to this council is a privilege. And the work that you do should result in achievement and then get out and let somebody else do it. And you get satisfaction from having done what you've done. Yes, and Absolutely. let someone else get on and do the job. You yeah. cannot be a seat warmer. I don't think seat warmers are appropriate in any organisation, let alone local government. And I've had the great pleasure of celebrating you becoming the first female Lord Mayor of our council and, uh, and in fact, um, in Australia. Um, but were you conscious that it was significant at the time? Um, the only thing that I was really aware of was that I was the Lord Mayor of the City of Adelaide before Lady Mary Donaldson became the Lord Mayor of the City of London. Yep. And we exchanged uh, we didn't have emails in those days. Letters. Didn't have faxes, no. Uh, telex. Oh, telex. We, we exchanged telex messages because she actually was inaugurated after I took office. So, but apart from that, no, I really wasn't because I never classified myself as a woman. I was never made to feel like a woman in here. I was a m member of the council, one of the guys, really, if you want to put it that way. And... Yes, I wore a skirt, I didn't wear trousers, but that was about the only thing that really mattered. What were you most proud of in your time in office? Well, I came in here with a very clear vision that the City of Adelaide had to run into world categories. We did not have a tourism operation. We didn't have a convention centre. We didn't have international hotels. I'd done a lot of travel and I saw the way other countries worked with um, transport facilities. Conventions were a huge business worldwide, but Adelaide couldn't house them because firstly, they didn't have a convention bureau, or an organisation. It was in one tiny room up here in oh. one of the buildings with one darling man. And when I went and talked to him, he said, you have been sent for me. <laughs> and in fact, I took a lead role when the transport department moved out of the railway station building and I felt it would be a very appropriate space to recondition and turn into some form of a meeting venue because, I mean, you can have meetings in, in buildings with pillars oh. and I thought that would be an excellent way to go. So that started me off on that and I got the council thinking, as a result of which by the time I left the council, we had a very active uh, Adelaide Convention Bureau. We now have the best convention centre, I believe, in Adelaide. We have international hotels. The first was the yeah. Hilton when I yeah. was on council, then we went to North Terrace. Um, we have an international airport. We had a tin shed up until then, and I can remember the day I met um, Minister Beasley down at the Adelaide Airport and we sat in this crummy little <laughs> shed in a crummy little chair and I said, excuse me, Minister, do you feel as though you're in an international airport? I said, please help. Yeah. Open, your, open yeah. your budget for us. And it wasn't long after that that we did get a proper yeah. 
Um, yes, so I worked very hard on the aspects of tourism and it was really um, finished off by getting the Formula One Grand Prix in Adelaide. So I guess the key thing for me is what advice would you give to women nowadays that may want to you know, follow in your footsteps of being a trailblazer? Well, I think women have got to realise if they get into local government that it's a very different form of engagement to corporate business out there because corporate business out there really has been a big fight for women. Yeah. But I think women in local government have a very real place because those who we represent are half women. And you simply cannot just adopt the realm of men. It is a community and women represent half the community. So if you can do it, you have to apply yourself but be proud to do it. Yeah, I would strongly encourage women to be part of local government. Yes. So thank you, Wendy. It's been a pleasure talking to you today. Well, thank you for having me in. I'll um, continue to have many more conversations, I would imagine, <laughs> before i am finished my term. I think so. Well, you're doing a wonderful job and it's good for me to see another woman doing the job that you are. Okay. Happy keep, Christmas. Happy <laughs> Christmas and keep up the good work. Thank you, Wendy.